Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today we are going to be doing a fun little project. I'm going to be painting, oh that's bright. I'm going to be painting some mini scenes with this tiny watercolour palette. Well I think it's tiny, it's kind of not as tiny as some things that we've seen on YouTube but it's pretty small and I think it will be fun to just have a little go with them. They're not even open. They're like kind of cheapy but I'm hoping that they're quite nice. They come with this really crummy brush, so I'm not going to be using that unfortunately because, well, I'll have a go with it, but I don't think I can get much done with that. I'll be using my own brushes and just these colours, and I'm hoping that the limited colour palette will be quite fun to experiment with and make some small little uh, drawings with, paintings with, rather. Drawings and paintings are different things, stuff. Gotta remember that. But yeah, welcome back guys, let's get started. I used washi tape to divide the watercolour paper up to create some panels to start making my little tiny, uh, not so little, I guess, paintings. At first the watercolour was actually really nice to use, it just felt like normal watercolour to me, it didn't feel particularly cheapy or anything, so it was quite actually uh, refreshing to find that it wasn't just some like cheap you know when you buy like those little palettes with the the crappy brush that this one had and then they are really chalky and stuff but this one was really juicy I want to say but I also don't want to say that so we won't and I started out by just blocking out shapes really with the watercolour. It was really uh, tricky at first because with the cold pressed paper that I'm using, it takes a while for the watercolour to dry apparently on this paper. If you use hot press, I think it takes less time or, well, I've been told that but I haven't actually found that out. So it could be a total lie, but I'm just going to say that it's the truth because that's what I think. <laughs> And yeah, so I'm just blocking out shapes. I looked at photos on Pinterest for these and I found that I really liked some of the compositions. So I just wanted to, you know, not think about compositions and just paint, practice painting with watercolours. I also decided to use a white gouache in with these paints because I wanted to highlight areas and I wanted to have that opaque feeling, not opaque feeling, that opaqueness to it so I could go over any mistakes because I'm not really too fond of just using watercolours by themselves because now that I've gotten used to using gouache I find that it's a very different process because watercolours you have to start off with the lights and then go gradually darker so if you make a mistake that's it but with gouache you can just paint over the mistakes so I like to add a little bit of white to kind of make them into a watercolour gouache I guess but mostly I use the white to create more space where I've gone too far like for instance in this one I made the sky a little bit too short so I wanted to bring that down with the white. I like to just paint straight ahead I've had a few comments where people say oh how is she doing that without you know drawing underneath but if you use gouache then it can be relatively easy because you can paint over stuff that you've to a, to a certain extent you can paint it over with gouache and it's it's kind of easier so that's my reasoning for that but I also like to just go for stuff as well. I think if I have an under painting, uh, under drawing or painting it kind of gets painted over anyway so I guess that's my reasoning behind that. A lot of people are impressed by this but I don't think it's that impressive, I just think I'm used to it. It's my process and I'm just that's how I I handle things um, and I think you could probably do it as well if you are one of these those people who think that that's quite cool or whatever you could just start doing it and then you'll get used to it like I have and yeah I also do like paint draw, draw with the paint a little bit to outline shapes so that makes it a little bit easier too and always looking at your reference imagery that's what helps a lot I remember back in university when my one of my lecturers was like because I really enjoyed life drawing which is drawing the human form and I was okay I was quite good at it and then when I went to draw buildings I'd be completely terrible and he would say like why can't you approach the way that you draw the human body or, or like why can't you approach the way that you draw buildings in the same way that you draw the human body and I, I feel like that piece of advice has always really stuck with me and so I'm 
I've never really liked drawing buildings very much so I'm trying to get better with like perspective and stuff but I also like the way that my buildings look a little bit janky and um natural I guess not natural but like a little bit strange but they fit in the environment they have a bit of a feeling to them I guess that is what I'm trying to say so yeah I used a lot of the white gouache jelly gouache here to sort of have a mood and a feel and I was really stuck at first painting these four images because I think everybody goes through that phase of like hitting a wall with their art and you kind of sit there and once you push through it everything sort of starts to connect and make sense so I definitely had that phase of uh, thinking that this was going to be terrible and then pushing through and then actually really liking what I came up with in the end you guys know if you've been following my kind of videos for a while that I am starting to lean more into impressionism and I think that these kind of have a little bit of that feel more than something that would be totally realistic and on point I just I don't know I feel like I'm really enjoying it so that's what I've got to follow it may not be everybody's taste like to have a bit of a wonky building or weird shapes in the sky or random colors here and there but I really like it I don't know why it just gives me satisfaction to make like a chunky cloud or a a wonky line there and I think it works really well and I'm trying to follow that because I think it's really helping my art style. I've never in my life felt like I had a concrete art style, but now I feel like I'm try I'm I'm a little bit getting to something that I would say is my natural aesthetic, if I can say that. So I think I'm gonna follow this and keep going. I wanna make maybe some more of these offline, not filming, because with filming there's always that little bit of pressure and if you're just doing this by yourself then then the pressure's gone but also I think there's some accountability with YouTube so if um you know if I didn't I, I really hit a wall doing these so I wanted to just stop but I was like well I have to put a video up and I want to show you guys like doing this and stuff so it made me push through the pain if that makes sense so I think there's a lot to be said for accountability so if you guys are struggling to finish a piece or you think like something's not good enough think like okay I have to post something on social media or something like that can really help you out and it definitely helps me out it sounds wrong because it shouldn't be that my passion is to just post something but it helps to push me so when I hit that wall or I think I can't do this I'm tired I want to go lie down or I want to play a game or I want to read a book or something instead of doing this I think you know I I should just do it and it, it really helped me today anyway <laughs> totally off track that yeah so I'm just finishing up with this dark shadows for the windows and things I didn't use a pure black I paint mixed together some reds and darker colors to create sort of this illusion of black I guess I, I think it's more of a brown and I've heard that that really helps uh, with imagery because you should never use uh, just a black straight black because it, it just doesn't look natural if that makes sense <laughs> I'm just talking rubbish I guess um but I hope you know what I mean shadows don't really appear as black do they so we should try and use a kind of lighter shade of it and yeah so just finishing off these pieces and I think they turned out really nicely in the end I think together they look really good and they're probably going to be on Patreon if you want to have this uh original painting by me i'm selling original paintings on patreon so you can sign up for the month and then delete your pledge and then just receive like one painting one month or something but yeah these are going to be up there and i think that's a really good way for me to sell them because i don't really want to sell them on etsy or anything but if anybody wants this collection of uh pieces which i would actually be kind of uh, sad to give away because i really like these i think they'll look really cool on my wall <laughs> I might I just have to paint keep painting loads of different ones I think I will probably do this again because I had a really good time in the end doing this and zoning out and doing it and it's really leveling up for me like I feel like my my skill set has really leveled up 
doing these paintings that I've done on YouTube for the past couple months and I'm really excited to see where they they go and yeah that's basically it okay so those are my four mini drawings I'm gonna take the tape off now I wanted to do a few more but I think this is probably my limit to be honest So I really like how these turned out. I think they look really nice together and they all have a real mood and feel to them which I'm really enjoying at the moment. Like I said, I'm going more into that impressionism style and I think these really invoke that. So I'm really proud of them and I think they look really nice together. So this little watercolor palette didn't do too badly. This Yarka rich transparent color didn't do too bad at all yeah so that's it that's the end of the video thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe and i will see you next time bye shout out to all my wonderful patrons you guys are the best but specifically to my youtube peer patrons jacqueline alex christy katie steph and megan aka Megaya. you guys are awesome thank you for supporting me and if anyone else would like a shout out at the end of my videos or other rewards please check out my patreon down below